Hi, my name is Kelly Pratt and I'm a solution consultant with Echo Consulting. And today I wanna to walk you through how to create an automation in Airtable to allow you to record a date based on a record update. So if you see on my screen here, I have a demo base that I've created to manage some of our projects. Um, and on this table here is a list of my tasks for all my projects. And what I want to accomplish here is I want to record a date when a task is completed or closed. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to be able to, again, have a record of just when all of the tasks were completed in comparison to um, the target finish date. And additionally, I also want to be able to pull reporting based on that. So I want to be able to see how many tasks have we closed in the last seven days? How many tasks have we closed in the last 14 days and so on? So in order to make this happen, first, I have to have a few columns ready. And the columns that I need are a, a date field. And so you can see I have a date field and I am calling it closed dates. And then I also have a today field. So this is a formula field where I'm just using the today formula to pull in today's date. And this is really key because this data point is gonna help us take today's date and populate it based on when a record has updated the status to completed. You can see I also have the on hold date because I do plan to add an automation to record the on hold date as well. So I'm gonna go up to my automations tab up here in the navigation purple bar. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom left and I'm going to create an automation. I'm going to title this um, record date um, task task complete. So the first thing you need to do when you're creating an automation in Airtable is select a trigger. And the trigger is when a record is updated because I'm specifically looking to record the date when the status changes to complete. Now that I have updated my trigger, I need to configure um, the table. So I'm going to select the tasks table. Um, I don't want to select a view. Um, that's optional and it's only to um, watch updates in that view only. So that's not applicable here. And I'm going to select the field that I'm looking um, for when there's an update, which is the status field. After that, I need to make sure I'm putting in conditional logic because I'm only looking to perform the action when the status updates to a specific um, value. So I'm gonna select conditional logic and I'm gonna say, if the status is complete, so that's my condition. So when a record is updated and then if the status is complete, then I wanna put my action in. And so what I'm looking to do is update another record. So I'm gonna select my table, which is tasks. Um, for the record ID, I'm gonna select the Airtable record ID. That's gonna make sure that I'm only updating the specific row that this update has occurred in. And then I need to um, select if I wanna update the record using specific fields or from a template. In this use case, I am updating the record using a specific field. And then I'm gonna choose my field, which is the closed date, right? So this is the field that I want to update. You can put in a date manually here if that makes sense for a use case. For this use case, I don't want it to be the same date every time. I want it to dynamically update. So I'm going to click on this gear icon over here. And rather than enter a static value, I'm going to enter dynamic. And then I'm going to click this plus sign and I'm going to look for that today formula. And I'm inserting the value from this field. And that's what is allowing me to make sure that when the status is marked as complete, it is recording today's date. Awesome. So you can generate a preview and run a test. It is difficult in the environment because it doesn't work for formulated fields. Um, so rather than test in here, I'm actually just going to turn this automation on and then go test in my actual data set. So I'm going to come back to my table. You can see here I have a task that's about 25% complete. I'm going to mark this as 100% complete. I actually have another automation in place that is then gonna update the status from in progress to complete based on that 100% complete update, as you can see here. And now, because this has marked complete, I will expect that the closed date is updated to today's date. So that's how you're able to record that date. And again, 
you can now see what data was completed compared to the day that it was expected to be completed. So this finish date was May 3rd and the close date was April 11th. You can also add in additional formula columns to be able to look at the difference between those two days as one way to track data. Another way that I wanna highlight is that in the um, projects uh, table, I can actually use that data point to include a metric. So I'd mentioned um, tracking tasks that were closed in the last seven days. I actually already have this set up. So what you would do is you would add a field that is a count field. You're gonna look for um, tasks, so that tasks table as the count source. And then I'm only including linked records when it meets a certain criteria. This is another really great feature that allows you to count data without using a formula. And so what I have here is the closed date is within the past number of days, which is seven. So this is telling me how many tasks have been closed in the last seven days, right? And you can see I just have one. Follow um, Echo Consulting for more tips and tricks on how to use Airtable.